So what I like to do is put a, this is an old bed sheet in the tub and up on the side so that I don't scratch it and that any of the caulking that I take out by the tiles doesn't go down the drain and clog it. So to remove the old caulk um, using a brand new razor blade and a holder and using two hands starting on the top of the tub very carefully sliding that along and cutting the caulking and my bathroom plastic tiles and they're 60 years old surprised they've lasted this long but they're still in decent shape so and you can do is put the the blade like this slide along but I want to be very careful I don't scratch that tile so what I've been doing is putting the blade like that and just pushing down And these tiles aren't even either so it's harder to slide along and cut because this actually this tile sticks out a little bit more than this one and just uh, peel out the caulking the old stuff and throw that in the trash and I'm going to work my way along and remove all of this on this side. And the cock is removed. We're going to take the razor blade very carefully go over the surface to get over any of really thin layers of that caulking off there. And Clean off the tiles too. When all the caulk is removed use some 91% alcohol put on a rag and then wipe off that whole surface remove any grease or any impurities that are still on there what I generally do is take some painters tape and run a strip on the wall or the tile and I like to put that up a quarter of an inch and I like to use a quarter inch thick piece of wood as kind of a measuring device because it's hard to measure with a ruler and I would put that in the corner and then start the tape and then move this down the other end and then Put it up against the wall start a piece of tape on the tub itself so you have a quarter inch in the tub and a quarter inch in the tile but i am out of the tape so i'm gonna i'm gonna wing it and um on some caulking guns there's actually a spout cutter built in there's a blade inside there and i want to just cut this off or you can use like a utility knife I'll look in there and I just want to just barely open that up and that just it's barely open just a small opening and oh then I need to uh, there's actually in the caulking tube there's a seal down in here so you need to take a wire and this gun has a wire built in I just want to push that in, poke holes in that seal. I'll wipe off that wire. And when you 
cock and you want to have a rag close by because you never know where the cock's going to go. So loading up the gun, put in the end first, slide it in. And this, this part here has teeth on the bottom and then there's a lever that cuts into those teeth or bites into them down there which then pushes that plunger inside the cock and pushes this silicone out the end and I'm using 100% uh, silicone it is 100% waterproof this is mold and mildew resistant it also stays flexible if the wall moves which most houses are built out of wood and wood is always moving so then I want to put this at about a 45 degree angle. If you're going to be cocking a corner, you'd want to hold it at a 90 degree angle. Start at the top, work your way down. Here I'm going to start at one end. Squeezing the head. Oh, get some cock out. And then once you get moving, don't stop. enough to seal up that seam but you don't want too much cock on there and then when you're done cocking you want to turn this to release pressure on the tube otherwise it'll come out the end of the caulking tube so now, I'm going to take your finger, some people wet them, some don't, and just move it along and spread out that cock. And there again, once you start, best not to stop just keep your finger moving if it's oozing out the side of your finger don't press so hard just want to go all the way down and then uh, use a rag clean out the finger and uh, supposedly you can take a shower in 30 minutes the cock will kind of skim over but don't touch it uh, because it takes 24 hours at certain temperature read the directions on the caulking tube and uh, that's pretty much it um, if I'd put tape on here after I'd smoothed it out I'd want to take the tape off while the cock is still wet and uh, that's pretty much it I mean it's it's tedious putsy work and it's surprising how much time it takes to do it but you don't want that seam here without the silicone in it leaking because it'll go in and possibly rot, rot out what's behind here um, this house is 60 years old I have no idea what's behind there um, modern things they'll put in cement board which is kind of waterproof uh, but here I have no idea what they did there might be just drywall there and if water gets in there drywall is not but if the caulk has failed you uh, I want to make sure that there's no holes or anything because water again can get down into that crack and possibly rot out my wall here so and this the caulk that I took out was still see <clears throat> excuse me still sealing it very well but it had that mold and mildew and I didn't want that in the bathroom so but be sure and check out my other videos please subscribe like and share and click on the notification bell to be notified when I release another video have a great day